Well, we have reported many times about a fugitive on the run, but uh, not so frequently about a llama on the lam. But that is precisely what police were scratching their heads over on West Saanich Road on Tuesday. And as A News reporter Andrew Johnson shows us, the llama may have just been looking for a big hug. He does look kind of evil with those ears, doesn't he? If you're wondering why Licorice the Llama is staring down Saanich Police Pound Inspector Mike Gibson, it may have something to do with what went down yesterday morning. I know for a fact he is certainly capable of picking me up with just using his neck alone and flicking me around. He didn't know that when he got into his van to respond to a llama wandering in traffic call on West Saanich Road. When he got there, there was Licorice standing in the fog wearing an expression something like this. He was terrified of traffic and uh, so he wasn't happy with my, the presence of my van either. But I managed to use the van to kind of herd him into a yard and use the, the van as a gate to close the yard. Once Gibson had licorice trapped in the yard and didn't know what to do next, a llama expert happened to be driving by, saw what was happening, and offered him some advice he perhaps didn't want to hear. Gibson needed to give licorice a big hug. The man demonstrated, and sure enough, the llama calmed right down. Then a slightly skittish Gibson gave it a try, and that moment is preserved in this photo. Gibson is pleased what happened next is not. A loud vehicle went by, licorice got startled and started flinging me about like a salmon on the end of a line. Thankfully, I was able to get him around the neck and, and hug him, as they say, and got him all calmed down. Then, with the help of the llama's owner, Mike Johnson, Gibson led licorice all the way home. It's a sheared it clean right off. Where Johnson says the great escape began with licorice busting right through a steel gate to grab a snack. A uh, box of uh, apples and carrots out in front of it. Pretty sure he wanted to get those pretty bad. His stomach full, licorice led Gibson on the adventure he'll never forget. Now the llama is being given more room to move around inside Mike Johnson's property. But other than that... I don't know what to do with the llama, really. <laughs> if you know, I mean, let me know what to do with him. <laughs> you could give him a hug. In Central Saanich, Andrew Johnson, A News.